So here we go boys, um, at long last, uh, my apologies Dave, it took so long to actually feature this. Um, some of you may know that I was very, very fortunate to be gifted this by uh, Dave Sterling uh, some time ago. I'll put a link uh, below to the video where he did so. Um, and it's an impound. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, what it does is it gives you the facility to actually take a current reading through a fuse that's in situ. That is to say that the rig actually takes the voltage drop across the fuse and does the math for you. Does the conversion um, to current, of course. Um, you can do this with a standard uh, voltmeter, DVOM, of course. You can take the voltage drop across the fuse. And uh, there is reference charts out there depending on what style of fuse you actually have. Here's a, here's a mini and a standard or ATO type fuse. Um, you can select this on the rig. I'm, I'm the, the point of this video, guys, is not to actually show you how to use that. Go look at Dave's video. He'll he'll give you a good demonstration on that. The uh, point of this video is just to check the accuracy against um, another reference point. In in this case, it's just going to be a clamp on amp mirror. So uh, pretty neat rig. So why would you need it if you can do it with a with a standard voltmeter? Why would you go to the uh, grief of obtaining one of these in the expense? Well, of course, as you might well appreciate, um, if you pull a fuse on uh, a modern car <clears throat> and then put it back in, um, some of these modules are going to stay alive for quite some time. It's going to cause you problems with respect to the timeline with working on a modern vehicle if you disrupt the, uh, the fuses. So the advantage of this is you never need to pull any fuses, and it's quick and easy. It's uh, non-intrusive. Um, um, yeah, let's go with that. Non-intrusive in the system. You can keep everything in situ because, as you well know, sometimes just simply reseating a fuse, if there's a bit of corrosion or something, um, you can actually solve your problem and leave yourself scratching your head. But, uh, yeah, as I said, this is not uh, this is not an operational uh, demonstration. This is simply uh, to cross-check the, uh, the accuracy of the rig uh, with another reference point. So, let's get on with that. Okay, so here we are under the hood here, boys. Here's the electrical distribution box, of course, with a number of relays and fuses. This is the uh, the headlight um, that we are interested in here. Um, I don't recall if it's the left or right. It doesn't matter. Um, the fuse is 15 amps, of course. Um, the lamp is a HB5 9007 dual filament uh, lamp assembly. Uh, it's a 55 and 65 watt filament. So we'll check it on both settings and we'll work the math backwards and see if our readings uh, make some sense, right? So um, let me just turn the rig on here. Okay, so turn it on. Fuse type uh, is in mini. Uh, just select it until we get the correct setting here. Okay, so we're in 15 amp mini. Try and get that in. Uh, frame for you and I'm just going to go across the two terminals so there you can hear the tone so it has in fact taken the amperage four amps which is nice for easy math uh, it's telling us there's four amps through the fuse so um, Let's just swap out the fuse with a, a fuse buddy type arrangement and we'll actually put the clamp on amp meter there and see if we get a similar reading just in the interest of uh, actually checking it. But before we do so, so let me go to the high beam position. So that was four ramps and low beam. Of course I kicked the camera. Just in the high beam position here, boys. Take another reading. And 4.8 amps, that makes some sense. Okay, so that was four even and 4.8, low and high beam, respectively. Okay, so we're back in the uh, low beam mode of operation, boys. The high beams are, in fact, on. Uh, and I've just put uh, one of these, I wouldn't dream of putting one of these in my car, but as uh, convenient as a, uh, as a current loop 
it's just got a 15 amp uh, fuse in here. I've removed the, the original mini fuse and this is just acting as our current loop. So with my clamp on amp meter, let me just zero this. Okay, we're on DC amps, zeroed. Hope you can see that. Let's see what we actually what we actually get. So there you go. Let me see if I can actually position this for you. You can see it. Well, that's pretty close, isn't it? I'm I'm impressed. I'm, I'm quite impressed actually. Okay, so that's the low beam mode. Very very close to the four amps. And that's the high beam mode. 4.9. Again, very, very close to the reading that we actually had for, there you go. Yeah, so let's call it 4.8, 4.9. And uh, very, very close to the reading we got on the amp pad. And off. So you can see I'm not actually reading quite zero there. So there's a margin of error there, I suppose. Uh, right, let's work the math backwards, see if that makes some sense. Okay, boys, so let's see if we can uh, rationalize these numbers, right? So the formula for power, last time I checked, was uh, power equals the current times the voltage. So if we rearrange that so we can find our current, which, so, because we know that our power is uh, both 55 watts for the uh, low beam and 65 watts for the high beam, or at least this is the published uh, figures that I could uh, come up with, we can actually assume uh, in and around 12.5, 12.6-ish battery voltage, right? We can work this backwards and see what kind of current we can actually come up with. So for the low beams, 55 divided by uh, our battery voltage. Let me pretend I'm, let me pretend I'm on the side here punching it in my calculator. I've already done it. I actually turned it to be 4.58 against our uh, uh, amp pound number was actually four even. And the uh, 65 uh, watts divided by 12.5 volts is actually 5.20 amps. I'm trying to stay with the camera tripod here, boys. boys. So that's for the, uh, that's low beam and that is the high beam mode of operation. So uh, what did we actually come up with? It was, um... oh, sorry, uh, I bugged that up. <laughs> that number should actually be up here. 5.2 is the math. And the number we actually came up with was 4.9, right? Sorry about that. We bet your balls up. Um... <laughs> What can you do, eh? uh, I'm not gonna edit it, it's, it's not worth it. The, you get the point. So <clears throat> we're off by half an amp-ish here and uh, only 0.2 of an amp-ish on, uh, on the high beam mode of operation. So um, I would say that this little rig is damn close. It's A lot of boring math later. Handy wee rig. I could see this actually being uh, quite useful in certain uh, troubleshooting scenarios. Uh, Silly is no brand name you're going to find in North America here, boys. Uh, at least not that I'm aware of. This came from the UK, Northern Ireland, of course. Silly is the UK distributor, I think, um, for the uh, Ampound product. But you can certainly get uh, other uh, brand names actually carry it. Uh, just search Ampound on Amazon or your local tool dealer or auto parts store or whatever and you'll get it so uh what's my evaluation of this little rig it's fantastic and i'm particularly fond of it because i got it from a pal of mine thanks again dave greatly appreciated so i hope that made some sense boys i'll leave it at that as i said not an operational video you want to know how to use it go and check out dave's vid the uh, the uh, link is in the in the bottom cheers boys ciao